What's up everyone? I'm here in Key West about to go on the ultimate water adventure with Fury. I'm going to be doing parasailing today, a banana boat ride, jet ski, and an ocean water park. This is going to be super fun. I just checked in. It's uh, around 9.30 a.m. and this entire adventure is going to take about six hours. I'm really excited to go on this. The entire um, excursion was just under $200. We also get breakfast and beverages included. Looks like they have egg and cheese, pastries, fruits, and oranges. Uh, so since you guys showed up early, what happens? It's the first half of the trip. Uh, we go to our Fury playground area, and that's where we're going to do the jet ski, the parasail, banana boat, and the water park. Okay. Uh, after that, the second half of the trip is when we go snorkel. Uh, we're most likely going to go to our barrier reef. It'll take us about an hour to get down there. Uh, take an hour ride south. We'll have about 50 minutes to an hour in the water, and then we'll cruise on back. The bar will open, and we'll have a happy hour. We'll start early for everybody. Okay. Uh, we obviously have breakfast out, we have water, we have orange juice, we have Pepsi products. After snorkeling when the adult bar will open up. So we have beer, wine, champagne, uh, we can make mimosas. So plenty of drinks on board for everybody today. Alright? Bye, have fun. Alright. This is awesome! Woo! Can you believe this? I'm uh, above the ocean here. <laughs> Woo! You can see everything. It's actually very gentle. Feels like I'm floating up here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this water is so, so nice too. Oh, they're getting their feet dipped in. That's gonna happen to me shortly. There's a gust of wind there. I'm going up higher. No hands. I think this is the highest that uh, they've taken me up so far. We're slowing up, getting closer.
Here it comes, the toe dip. I'm gonna touch the water. Whoa! Woo! That felt good! Woo! Let me tell you, parasailing is awesome! Woo! All right, stand up. stand up, okay. Got it. Stop. Right there, buddy. Stop. Okay, that? excellence. That was so cool. Woo! Get on down over to the right, buddy. All right, thank you, thank you. All right, woo! You gotta do it. You gotta do it for sure. Big scary kind. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. I am back of the boat out of sea, riding like a bicycle. Follow her down. That's close enough. <laughs> Any closer, I don't know. Slippery. Okay. You come up, you come up one. Have her move up a seat, please. All right. No, I want her to move up a seat. I just want to have you move up a seat. Okay. Right okay. Good. Are you guys together? That's what I thought. Okay. <laughs> hey, man, this guy's making it like brain screws. It's easy. <laughs> just watch my bow. If my bow goes off to the right, so are you. Lean to the right. If I go off to the left, so are you. Lean to the left. If you think you're falling off, you are. Uh -oh. Let go of the boat. If she's uncomfortable, make her sit on the deck. Okay? And I'm not here to throw anybody. I can throw everybody. No, no, no. But that's no fun for anybody. So if she feels uncomfortable, she can sit right there. Hold Maybe right I should here. put this in the mount here. <laughs> I have both hands on the strap here. Here we go. Bye. Okay. All right, Sophia. Woo! Whoa! Woo! All right. <laughs> Woo! Oh, getting water all over my glasses. <laughs> what? Woo! Is it fun? Oh, she doesn't think. Oh no. Woo! No, 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 no. Okay, it's okay. Oh. Good. I got your foot. You're good. We're good. Ah, Woo! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Ha <laughs> ha!
Wow, it's like riding a bull. Yeah. <laughs> Woo. Ah! Whoa. No, no, no. <laughs> no. Just hold on. I got you. Think of a beach. Yeah, this is fun. This is like a little, a little ride. It just oh, moves. That's oh, all. It's almost over. Anyway. Oh, daddy. I know. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. I got your foot. Stop going. Stop. Oh, 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 Just to be doing this. I know. She's actually one of the big girls. She's yeah. She's scary when she's older and the fun stuff. <laughs> I know. I said that when I was younger. <laughs> I don't like these rides, but.
Christian this morning. Yeah. That was the uh, banana boat. That was so fun. So <laughs> wettest I've gotten in a long time. <laughs> Okay, thank you. Okay, you can go, just don't use the one on the end with the lid up. Alright. Jet ski time, whoa. Nice and comfortable. Seems like high tech equipment, trip mode, info, start, stop. No way. Which one? Yes. Oh, this little thing. Okay, it's like a brake right, so lever. Once you sit down, you're gonna see this lanyard on the top. Then take this uh, part that's closest to this clip, and plug it in there. Clip it into your life jacket on the bottom left hand side. You got a little V ring there. Just like that. And then this little piece right here is gonna go in over the ball underneath your handlebar. You can just clip it in. Oh. The actual, the other part. Yeah, yeah. Oh, here. And where do we put it in? Oh, this is the ball? Okay. Yeah. The whistle's good to have, of course. All right. All righty, guys. Uh, really quick, I'm going to show you how to drive these things. Uh, Alrighty guys. <laughs> uh, real quick guys, on the left side, just pay attention really quick so we can guys on the end there. Well, just pay attention really quick. Uh, so on the left side of the handlebar guys, left side of the handlebar you'll see a red button guys. It says start stop on it. Like I said, we're not gonna be stopping with it, but we are gonna use it to start. Uh, when mm -hmm. we push you in, we'll tell you when to click it. You're gonna have to hold it down for about two seconds. It's not a touch screen, you gotta fight with it a little bit sometimes. If you can't get it with the finger, try your nail, it works a little bit better. Uh, on the right side behind the handlebar, it looks like a little handbrake on a bike. A little trigger, everybody grab back, give it a squeeze, pull it, show me you know where it is. Okay. Alrighty, that is going to be your throttle, guys. That's your best friend. Like I said before, there's no brake or reverse on these things. So all your movement is going to come from that throttle. A uh, little tip driving these things, guys. They are called jet skis. They are designed to go fast. Uh, they are not kayaks. Typically, anything below 25 miles an hour, you're going to notice you don't have much control. The nose that speed's going to be up in the air. It's going to be really wobbly. You're going to be getting slapped in the face with a bunch of salt water. It's not a fun ride. Do me a favor. Go at least 25 out there. It makes it a lot more enjoyable. You'll start to get on plane. You'll go over the waves as opposed to under them. You'll have a lot more control. Uh, another tip, guys, when you're turning out there, which we'll be doing some right-hand turns uh, around in that big circle, uh, be consistent in your turns. Uh, like you're in a car, or contrary to what you're doing. Uh, we're going to do the exact opposite. We're going to keep that same speed or go faster out of the turn. Uh, reason being, it's impossible to slow a jet ski down and turn at the same time. Uh, you just drift off the brake. So make sure you're being nice and consistent on that gas. Uh, you want to want to drive your car on and off the brake on a highway. Hopefully you guys don't do the same thing on these things, all right? <laughs> uh, so if you didn't pay attention to any of those rules, really quick, put the pressure on the same side of that ride area, going from one boom to the next. Keep that nice big 300 foot, 100 yard distance in between you guys, and watch out for those boats. Uh, do we have any questions? Comments, concerns? Alrighty, y'all. We're all good. Okay. Everybody can go ahead, turn those handlebars to the right. Like I said, for this first lap, I'm going to follow Brian around in a big circle. After that, he's going to get out of the way, and you guys are going to be good to go, all right? Okay. All right. Guys, count about five, four or five seconds after that jet ski goes in front of you before you start going. That gets you that big gap that we're looking for. All right. No, we'll tell you what. Before you push you up. Oh, I'm the first one in. Whoa. Alrighty, man, turn it on, no gas. I will see behind you. All right, it's on. Idle speed, no gas.
little sky lost out there.
thanks. So after this, I went to the ocean water park, but what happened next was totally tragic. I went into the ocean with my GoPro, and even though GoPro claims that their cameras are waterproof, somehow the battery door got undone and salt water got all inside. So as a result, I lost all the footage from the ocean water park, but I had a lot of fun. I was still able to get this jet ski footage from the memory car, so I'm so fortunate about that. The uh, snorkeling adventure I didn't go into the water for because people said that the waves were pretty rough. But nevertheless, I had a great time. It was wonderful, and even though I didn't get the snorkeling footage or the ocean water park footage, I'm glad I was able to jet ski, parasail, and do the banana boat. It was totally awesome. Okay, that is the conclusion of the Fury Key West Adventure. Parasail, jet ski, ocean adventure, snorkeling. Even though I didn't get to do the snorkeling, but I get to, got to do the banana boat. It was a wonderful adventure, and I would highly recommend anyone coming to Key West to come and check out Fury because uh, you get a lot of time out on the water and they surely pack it into everything that they put in here and um, it's truly amazing once again shout out to Fury for providing this unique experience love it definitely a thing to do when you come to Key West